39-year-old Dar es Salaam resident Halima Athman buys water from a private well for her daily use. For more than a month, city residents like her have been forced to buy water from commercial sellers due to a shortage of water supplied by the city. Before we were buying one gallon for 500 shillings, but now it's 1,500 to 2,000. For us citizens with low income, that's a lot of money. I have a family, so how many gallons should I buy? It costs us a lot and we can't afford it. At the end of October, authorities in Dar es Salaam declared a water shortage and began rationing in Tanzania's largest city, home to about 5 million people. Officials say, due to drier conditions, the water supply from the Ruvu River, the city's main water source, has dropped to about 300 million liters a day, while the city demands 450 million liters. Critics say Tanzania's authorities should have done more to prepare for the drought. Hey. We've been blaming this on lack of rain. What about those countries where they don't receive rainfall for a long time? Countries like the United Arab Emirates or Sahara countries. It's the government that lacks priority in the water sector. If not resolved soon, the water shortage could impact on Tanzania's economy. The National Bureau of Statistics says Dar es Salaam accounts for 80% of the country's industrial activity. But whether experts say an end to the shortage is in sight. We are heading to December. We are expecting an increase in rainfall. Rain will help in various economic activities. People will harvest water for domestic use and the water shortage will decline. Manuel, Athumani cleans with the little water she has and hopes for rain and a sustainable water supply. Charles Combe, for VOA News, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.